Well, my guest is no stranger to News 9 News on 6. Uh, it's 21 months ago, Larry Bookman and I, Dr. Larry Bookman, started the Monday Night Stream. And we're still talking about those issues. That was in 2020. And we're Broadway shutting down. NFL's got a problem <laughs> right now. So much going on. What can we read into things right now? Well, I think you have to realize that there's been a whirlwind in health care in the last two years. 2020 will go down as the year of COVID. 2021 is going to go down as the year of COVID mutations, as well as the uh, delivery of new vaccines, which is a great development in healthcare. We've seen Delta variant go throughout the United States, creating more than 800,000 deaths in this country, 10,000 deaths just in this state. And now we have the Omicron variant, which is in more than 38 states. It's spreading rapidly, and we know that it's more transmissible, may not be more dangerous, but more transmiss transmissible. And as you said, it shut down our Broadway theaters again. It's affected our sports. We have more than 70 NFL players who have been affected by Delta and are out. Um, but we also have the development of the vaccine. Believe it or not, it's only been one year since the Pfizer vaccine was first developed and d distributed so that we got shots in the arm. And now we're giving vaccines to all adults and most children. And we have boosters being delivered. So we've come a long, long ways. But we have to realize this is a world pandemic. We've got to get shots into our third world countries. And we've got a long ways to go yet. Let me ask you what people, in Oklahoma it's only about 60%, what do we have to do to get that 40% of folks who don't listen to public health or are fearful of the vaccines and public health measures, what do we do about that? I don't know that we can always convince people. I think the best thing we can do at this point is further education, not mandates, further education. We need education in the state of Oklahoma. We need our politicians to support what is the science, not what the silent minority has been yelling about. So if we give the education, we show that it's safe and effective, and we've given more than two million shots in this state alone. More than 90% of Oklahoma County has at least one shot. We can show that it's safe and effective, and hopefully that will convince those who are reluctant to get not only their shot, but their children's shots. We've got about a minute now. In uh, 2020, 2021, you know what those years were. Looking forward to 2022, what do you, what do you see on the horizon? We've got about a minute. I think that we're gonna have improvement in healthcare delivery because of improved um, access to healthcare. I see that uh, artificial intelligence is gonna play a major role. I also feel that we're gonna have improved telehealth by improving our broadband and, and our internet access in the rural areas. We've got to stress that. One last question, 30 seconds. What do you think people over the next couple of weeks are gonna be getting together? What can people who are concerned about the variant do to protect themselves? I think that if everybody is vaccinated and had their boosters, I do think it's safe that you may get a cold, but you're not gonna get seriously ill. If you're not vaccinated, stay home. And if you're with people who aren't vaccinated or maybe only have one shot, wear a mask. That's still the best protection we have on the short term. But mostly I say get vaccinated. Dr. Larry Bickman, 21 months we've been talking about this. It's good to see you. Hopefully we'll be talking about something else next year. I hope so. I, I have great hopes. See this again at news9.com slash your vote counts and follow me on Twitter at Mitchell Talks.